This video will explain the role of a dysregulated host response in acute kidney injury and how two key cells of the innate immune system, neutrophils and monocytes, drive the associated hyperinflammation. The innate immune system is the first response to signals from damaged tissue or invasive pathogens. However, a wide variety of triggers, including trauma, injury, bacterial or viral infection, and major surgery, can increase the likelihood of a harmful, imbalanced systemic response, known as hyperinflammation, leading to shock. The pathogenesis of acute kidney injury is associated with hyperinflammation, which, if uncontrolled, frequently progresses to other organs, like the heart and liver. The resulting multi-organ damage and potential failure contributes to significant morbidity and mortality. Two types of leukocytes, neutrophils and monocytes, are considered responsible for and the source of the massive innate immune response of hyperinflammation, mobilized during inflammatory situations or in response to acute infection or tissue injury. These cells release cytokines and other inflammatory mediators to activate additional immune cells, which in turn release additional pro-inflammatory cytokines and other inflammatory mediators, further amplifying hyperinflammation and generating a cytokine storm. The most abundant white blood cells in the human body, neutrophils, make up 60 to 70% of circulating leukocytes and are the innate immune system's first line of defense. When activated, these cells undergo conformational changes that enhance their pro-inflammatory ability to recognize and eliminate pathogens. When the body's normal inflammatory processes are dysregulated, neutrophil apoptosis is delayed, leading to their buildup and causing sustained damage for a longer duration. Monocytes are the largest in size compared to other white blood cells and exist as different phenotypes. These can be either pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. The latter plays a more reparative role. In acute kidney injury, the majority of monocytes are pro-inflammatory, digesting debris as well as releasing cytokines and other harmful inflammatory mediators. When pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory signals are no longer in balance, hyperinflammation is perpetuated. Leukocyte activation contributes to the pathophysiology of acute kidney injury, including kidney tissue damage. Activated neutrophils, for example, aggregate in the blood vessels, causing sludging in renal blood flow, leading to ischemia due to poor circulation. Activated neutrophils then egress from the leaky blood vessels and move into the kidney interstitial space, releasing degradative enzymes. Together, these processes cause kidney tissue damage. This phenomenon also happens systemically, which leads to multi-organ damage and failure. An imbalanced inflammatory response in acute kidney injury contributes to the need for dialysis or continuous kidney replacement therapy due to end-stage kidney disease, longer ICU stays, and increased healthcare resource utilization and cost. Despite advances in care, patients with acute kidney injury continue to experience a mortality rate between 40 and 60% in adults and roughly 50% in children. As such, there remains an unmet need to better target the source of hyperinflammation of acute kidney injury and other acute or chronic illnesses.